Morning, Abby. Morning, Abby. The big boss. Morning, it's photo shoot day of my new activewear. We are practicing positive self talk today because I'm 30, right? You're 38. No, I'm not 38. I'm I mean, That's like 38. I'm not like 38. Yeah, I'm it's 30. 38. This morning I woke up and he was in my jewelry drawer. Show us your outfit. Stunning. Take my jewelry off. Sure. Yeah, so many photo shoots in the past. I've just been so so hard on myself. You guys would remember back in the day, I would like prep for photo shoots. I'm so not in that season anymore and I'm so glad that I'm not. I've genuinely been praying and craving and yearning for this sense of balance that I'm currently in. A lot of it has to do with age and just like getting older and you know, learning that being super, super lean does not make you happy. I really did not have the best sleep at all. And then we've all been awake since 5.30. Foxy woke Malachi up, which wasn't ideal. Our friend Rima is minding the boys. I've left our friend Rima with so many notes. I've written a list of indoor and outdoor activities, mostly indoor because today is going to be 40 degrees. That's it in Fahrenheit. In Australia, it's like this dry heat. It's it's hot. So I'm only feeding Malachi three times a day now, which is amazing. I might do four times a day today just to like top him up, but just morning, lunch, and dinner. I'm gonna come home at like lunchtime, like 1.30 and feed Malachi to sleep. But hopefully you go down for your morning nap by yourself. Luckily the shoot is close enough to us that I can just like pop okay. home. We're in the wiggle house, you're invited here every day. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> What do you feel like for Brecky, bud? Surprise? Surprise? Yeah, I can make you a surprise. At least because we were up so early at 5.30, I'm running on schedule. It's 7.30. <laughs> I feel like it should be lunchtime. I've prepped a bunch of food for the boys. This is Foxy's lunch. It looks incredible if I do say so myself. Homemade sushi, fruit, nuts, and seeds and all that kind of stuff. And then I've got Malachi's food here. He's just got like pasta, fruit, snacks. Hello. Oh, hey. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on? Just at the warehouse right now. Do, 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 do. Tell me your mom without telling me your mom. Do you just sing your kids toy songs? <laughs> oh, how my channel has changed. I'm doing like a leftovers French toast. So I'm using olive sourdough <laughs> in French toast, but like whatever. They won't be able to tell, right? Are you helping me cook Malachi? Mimi, can you get me out the cinnamon? I said about us running ahead of schedule. Scrap that. <laughs> this pimple, I feel like it looks worse than it feels. Like it's not super bumpy, but it's been here for like two weeks. I was like, oh yeah, no worries. It'll totally go by the time the shoot is here. But it's like, it's just, it has a permanent residency on my face. Which, you know, it's fine because, like I said, we are practicing positive body talk. Let's lock it in with a moisturizer. Sorry, I've been taking oh, my sweet time. Okay. We're, we're only doing photos today, so it's not like a mad rush. We're doing video tomorrow. Georgia, Kurt's taking your job. I'm not taking oh. shoes off because I was told that you need to take your you shoes off. Job. I'm not it. Don't, don't show me feet. <laughs> <laughs> the butler's pantry, walk-in pantry, is like a dream. Is like Pinterest in real life. Go and have a look. <laughs> I'd be over the fake freckles, the faux Remember freckles. we were gonna do it for your wedding day and everyone was like, nah. I know, I should have. I love, I love a good faux freckle. I love it. It's only 10 a.m. and I honestly, I have not mum guilt, it's the wrong word. I just hope that the person minding them isn't like, far out, these children are like being chaotic. I don't know. Kurt couldn't care less. This is a mum thing. Like, both parents are on shoot. I feel sick about the boys for no reason. They're totally fine. They're safe. They're probably really happy. Kurt, 
How do you feel about the boys right now? Yes, yeah, sweet. Oh. I feel good. I am like, I'm so, I'm not even mad. I'm so envious. I wish I could feel that level of like. No care. Yeah. And that's just dad life. <laughs> So I love it. This is my favorite hair. Hello, where's my hole? That's what he said. My veins. Can you tell I'm ready for a breastfeed? I always wanted to know what life was with boobs because I've lived my whole life with like triple A's or double A's. And let me tell you, it's pretty freaking good. It feels pretty good. It feels pretty good. <laughs> You look great. I look great. I am worthy. I am stunning. Amen. And my labia are exactly what they're supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> right. I've been more relaxed than I thought I was going to be. But like, Hi, Sarah. Hi, how are you going? Yeah, fine. How are you? Good. How's it going? Good. So good. My boobs <laughs> are double Ds. They're jiggling. They're full of milkshakes. <laughs> Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, just call me whenever yeah. you need me to come over and I'll come straight over. Beautiful. Thank okay, you. see ya. Bye. Bye. Having someone you trust with your kids is priceless. Priceless. So I feel so grateful, but like, oh my gosh, I miss them. It's so bizarre. But I'm excited to go back and become a double A again because this is. We're gonna hurry up a little bit. Ooh, I'm due to feed around 1:30, so I feel like this is the last outfit of this section. When I put this on, all the girls were like, "Yes, this is what I want to get." So I figured I would tell you guys the names. So these are the Brooklyn leggings. This is the color Storm, so it's like a really earthy gray. And then we have the Bentley sports bra. This is like the most mini one, I would say, with a strappy back. I'll show you when I properly take it off. And then this is the Hilton shirt, dedicated to my girl Paris. <laughs> These shoes said they were a seven. I think we missed a zero on the end because they're like size 70 and they're huge. It's common knowledge that Paris Hilton has like really big feet. So I'm just repping it that I am being Paris Hilton. Is that a known thing? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's okay. not common knowledge. It is common knowledge. If you're a millennial, maybe a Gen Z, but mostly millennials who grew up watching The Simple Life with Paris and Nikki, this thing here, you know, well, they don't cover it in that, but like, if you watch that, you got obsessed with Paris Hilton, and then you started really low-key <laughs> stalking her and you found out, wow, she has really oh, big so feet. Also, it's just a Sarah thing. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone get that right? <laughs> oh, and then this is Farm's Market Tote. Oh, and the socks. Did I say this was Storm? This is the color Storm. It's not. This is smoke. We're ordering food, Blackwood Pantry, Uber Eats. <gasps> what do I want? Surely there's a Lizzie McGuire song like that. <laughs> what do I want? <laughs> what do I want? I don't know. My name is Gabriella. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded like the kid from the Thornberries. The oh. little. Oh. Um, Dobby. Dobby. <laughs> It's such an art to model casually. Like I always look back and I'm like, I'm too posed. Yeah. I'm like, I just need to like, hey. Hey. <laughs> Wow. Oh, yeah. Who is she? Her yeah. name is Bentley. <laughs> the long legs. Yeah. Kurt told yeah. me to be long. What do you want to know? Long, 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 long. Beautiful. I reckon they've got some good ones there. Oh, oh they look so that. good. So, yeah. Stay still in a pose if you're gonna do so, because. <laughs> I say stay still, you should just. <laughs> say goodbye to not only me, but these big, juicy girls. <laughs> really, she was fun while she lasted, but seriously, in this week, I've been trying to cull Malachi a little bit. So we've gone from five feeds to three, and my body is just keeping up. So I'm gonna drive home quickly, feed him, and come back so you guys can come with me. Hello! Hi, my red face bubby! What is the. Oh, I know. I nearly <laughs> I didn't make up to it. it. So cute. 
And I actually did Pilates in this one. Yeah. This is for low support because it is a low back. If you feel like you have like boobs that bounce around, wear this for lifestyle, like wear it with like an oversized shirt with sunnies, cool. And for my other itty bitty titty committees, you could definitely work out of this. What? <laughs> okay. okay, 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 okay. I originally was like, oh, we could do a one day shoot. We could do the photos and video in one day. No. It's nearly the end of day one and we still have like seven things oh, to shoot. Right. Can I run away? Yep. Yeah. We don't <gasps> run, run away. But then we hear essentials out. All right. We got five minutes in this one timer. Yeah. 40 degree heat with a fleecy footy, extra warm. This color is storm. It is another one with so smoke. Beautiful. This one's my favorite, I think. Yeah, I fought hard for this cut. Like to me, this is just the perfect tank. Nice. Okay, I don't have time to talk to you. We've got like 45 minutes and we still have like six things to shoot. So. I have almost run into this so many times. Stop talking to me. I'm gonna try and get this Polaroid again. Sarah loves the Polaroid. It's because I love you. I hate this freaking Polaroid. All I do is this. Oh. Just do your pray mantis legs. Ooh, <laughs> there she goes. Tell me I look like a model, darling. Last outfit. We're gonna style my hat. Unique feature about this hat is I actually made it shorter than a normal hat. I like wearing my hats low, but they make my ears stick out. So I wanted it to fit just above my ears. I put a lot of thought into the placement and the cut of this hat. It's like ear skimming. Sun is going down. This is the last outfit of the day. And we feel like this is like a very realistic outfit because it's like a bit mix and match. You know, it's a few different color combos together. That's a wrap. That's, That's it. A wrap. I'm exhausted, but not like the normal post active wear shoot exhausted. And I think it's because I'm a mum of two and like you can't afford to be super exhausted. I don't know. So, hey guys. Hey guys. Hey. I've just whipped up some spaghetti bolognese and there's Nerf guns going everywhere. That was day one done. So, that was photos. And we still have video day to go, which Kurt thinks is going to be more hectic and like time sensitive, I guess. It's nearly 6 p.m. and I feel like a bit of a dog for not waiting for Kurt. But if you're a mum, you get it. Like, nighttime routine doesn't stop for anyone. Do you want to say great? Or do you want me to say grace? I'll hold hands. Um, I'll say it. Okay. We pray for um, Uncle Kyle and we pray for Ronnie. We pray for Tazzy and Mimi's sleep. We pray for him because he's my best friend and we protect. And bless his foot onto our, our body and, and you stay the rest. Bless his foot onto our body and we pray that Daddy no. gets home safely and everyone has a fantastic day tomorrow and a fantastic sleep tonight. Amen. And a fantastic um, friend. And a fantastic afternoon. I love it. All right, time for us I'm to eat dinner. It. Hi, it's day two, and I'm in a flustered mum state because if you're a breastfeeding mother, sorry, I'm like backing you into a corner, <laughs> <laughs> staunching you. I was supposed to be there at 8:30. It's fine. I'm gonna be there in like five minutes. But I fed Malachi at 5:30 in the morning, and I'm trying to just do three feeds a day: morning, afternoon, night. And I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have massive engorged boobs in like an hour. So I'm like, do I bring my pump? Do I pump? Do I wait till he gets home? And do I? <sighs> I just feel like. I can't just like be frivolous and like go where I want to go because my body is not mine. You know, <laughs> like, I don't know. Let's just go and then if I feel like they're massive or if Malachi's upset, I'll come home and feed them. Let's go. Love you. Yeah, let's go. Morning. There's a conspiracy that I had a boob job. Oh my God, from the photos yesterday. <laughs> but all these mums are like, no, it's it's breastfeeding. And someone's like, no. they're not breastfeeding. No, I'm joking. like, <laughs> Alright, it's day two of the shoot, which is video day today. Yeah, I'm excited for today. We've got a pretty fun video that we've got installed for today. We've got a lot of kit here. Always a lot of kit. We overcomplicate everything here because that's what we do. But we're just setting up our first shot now. Yeah, I'm pumped for today. It's gonna be a big day. No photos, no messing about. Everyone needs to be on time and schedule. Magical Hobbit land. <laughs> Usually Talia is the office grump. What's he saying about me? That I'm the most You're positive, so enjoyable happy. person to be around. Yes. And Seth? I know, I bring the good vibes all the time. It's what I'm known for. <laughs> We're trying to set up our first shot. The window is really dark right now. It'll like the somehow. 
looking next to the window because there's so much tint on the glass, it's really hard to cut through it. So we've put one light on, turn that on. So, so we're just going to try and get some more light in there. That makes my stomach drop. Alright, are you ready to go? Rolling action. Apparently I'm dancing. <laughs> Kurt and I ever have beef on set. Stuff like this. You guys are all on my side. You'll be like, no, that was cute. He'll go, no, 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 be crazier, be crazier. Like he'll want me to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we don't want it to look weird. <laughs> That's how you do it. Because <laughs> I did like as a little kid and I like... <laughs> Talia, 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 zooming in. <laughs> Don't ever do that in my ear again. <laughs> yeah, so we're doing like a tracking shot of Sarah right now. So we have the dolly set up. Sarah has to kind of walk in the same pace and tempo every time. And we're gonna match cut her outfits changing as she walks down the corridor, basically. Kurt, are you ready? I'm rolling. I ducked home and I fed Malachi, but because I was so engorged, he only fed on one and a half sides. So now I'm like an A and like a B. So we're just gonna tuck this one down, pull this one up. Compensation, people. Compensation. You ready, sir? Ready. Rolling. Put your paws up, cause you were born this way, baby. All right, so it's 3.20. Either me or Kurt need to go get Fox from preschool like in five minutes. And we've got, I think, three more shots, two more shots. I don't know. What are you showing I'm us? Mum don't go to preschool because <laughs> mum goes to preschool. Because they are, are they at preschool and they, right. they just so play at preschool. That's it. Are you ready for me now, are you? Yeah, come on. Kurt's not in the mood for banter. Don't be freaked out when you see my face. For those with circulation issues, you'll feel my feels. I am so cold. I went to Pilates this morning and I sweat. And then I went outside in the wind, in the shade. And like my sweat stuck to me like ice. And like, oh, when I get cold, my thumbs go numb. Eventually my hands go numb and my lips go blue. Oh my God. <laughs> I look like I've like been laying in the morgue. I'm like freaking myself out. But anyway, obviously when this vlog was filmed, it was during the campaign. So we had no idea how well the collection was gonna sell and if you guys were gonna like it. Let's just say you all loved it. The reaction was so overwhelming. Every time I do a collection, we have to estimate how many units we think we need to do. Like it's based off how many views I'm getting or my engagement or how many people are commenting, whatever. So we make a pretty well-educated estimation and you guys just blew us out of the park. Like everything went in seconds. So the only things left Left at the moment we've got this hoodie the Dylan hoodie the Beckham sweater here extra extra large in the Leighton sports bra extra small in the Carter bike shorts anyway there's a few random things on the website but for the most part the collection is sold out so I actually have a call with White Fox today determining a restock because originally we weren't going to do a restock because we thought we had enough units for like a few weeks for you guys to get your hands on it so we will definitely do a restock I think it's going to be in July but I'll let you guys know now look I did address this on my Instagram story but I feel like I need to talk about it here I completely understand if you're frustrated that you didn't get what you wanted from the collection or if you didn't get anything from the collection because yeah obviously I've been showing it a lot I've hyped it a lot I've been wearing it and getting you all excited so I completely understand and can empathize that you were all eager to get your hands on it and then it sells out within seconds like it's not fair and I just want to let you know that that is not our plan like sure it's exciting that it's sold out and it shows that you guys love it and we 
designed a great collection, but we try to get enough units so that it's live for at least a few weeks. So everyone has a chance to kind of like get what they want. You don't really want to sell out within the first minute. Like you're just missing out on so many people and like not creating that amazing experience for the customer. So yeah, I just want you to know that this was not tactical at all. I really wanted a lot more of you to get your hands on the collection, but yeah, we're definitely going to restock. Like, is this dumb that I'm just doing makeup so I look alive? Do you want to come say hey to everyone? Say hey guys. No, you got to keep it wide. Oh, that's so nice. This is why your daddy gets mad at me about my lens because you always kiss it. Hey, look at this. Maybe not in your eye, maybe on your cheeks. Can I do this one? Mm, I wouldn't use that one because that one's got like kind of paint on it. Oh, <gasps> See you, bud. Have fun at the park. I'm coming, Bye. Have fun. Okay, let's like put a little bit of something on the lips and see if we can look alive. I just don't like doing lips on me because I feel like it makes me look older. But I'd rather look old than like a corpse. Is that better? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I highly recommend watching the final campaign video because it turned out so good. But I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully when I look a little bit, when there's more blood flow to my head. <laughs> Bye.